Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my shop mustache for the week. We're going to go through the products I chose last week, what I thought of them, and we'll be picking new products to use this week. How was your week? Sun is shining this weekend. It's going to be in like the high 70s, and then it's going to go back down to like mid 50s and 60s, which is kind of crazy. But hey, we got to enjoy the nice weather while it's here. So <laughs> it's funny because I always talk about the weather in shop my stash videos if you love shop my stash videos definitely continue watching also if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe i do upload three times a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays definitely subscribe so you don't miss out and let's just go ahead and jump right in so the first product i had from last week was my item beauty one hit prime set and refresh dewy finish face mist <laughs> Um, this reminds me of my MAC Fix Plus. I really enjoy it. I like that it just like melts the powders onto the skin. It softens the face. I just, I just really enjoyed my skin this week. So we're going to put that away. Eyeshadow primer was my Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift Waterproof Primer. Works. Does the job. Eyeliner this week. You guys know I like having my everyday liners over here. Um, but I did use this brown Epic Ink Liner, which I probably should be using this in my everyday instead of my new um, AOA studio. So I will put this back and leave this one up here so I can use it. This was my old AOA studio and it's almost done. So I'm just going to be keeping this one since it's older up here. And then I also had these two. Um, this is a lip liner, but I use them in my waterline from LA Colors. So also did use my Lime Crime shade and beat it. It's a really beautiful raspberry color, um, pretty matte on the skin on the lips as well i don't know what this is doing over here this is broken i always have to fix it but also had my la colors neon gel liner in hypnotic blue really nice okay my mascara for the week was both of these was i impressed no was i underwhelmed no they were okay um worth the hype by nyx and then georgia money ice to kill again they were okay uh for eyebrows this week this sucks this is the ColourPop Brow Boss. I thought about keeping it, but honestly, I might return it. I did pay money for this, so maybe I will get my money back or something because this is no bueno. It has no freaking pigment. You have to press really hard. See, look, I'm barely touching my skin, but I literally have to push on my skin to get any pigment, which totally sucks. And then my eyebrows aren't filled all the way if I don't really like press super hard. So I don't like this. I don't recommend it. Color pop brown. Don't buy it. <laughs> this, on the other hand, saved my brows this week using this pencil because my brows were super light. And then I applied this. This is like one of my favorite brow gel, fiber brow gels. Um, Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind. I got this from Marshalls. $5.99, I believe. And I don't know. I believe this is still at uh, Sephora. I'm not sure. But yeah. Okay, those are project pans. Okay, down here I had my one size translucent powder. It works really well. I didn't know what I thought about it, but my skin looked fine this week. I really enjoyed it. I honestly feel like it was mostly the Bobbi Brown because every time I use this, my skin looked amazing. So definitely enjoyed this vitamin enriched face space. Again, I am going to pick up another one. I've had this for a while. I need to finish this off, but I'm definitely picking one of these during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Stills, and you should too. Apply this under your foundation. Your skin looks really smooth and natural and really pretty. I really enjoy this. And then for foundation, I had my Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 103. My friend had passed this on to me. I really liked it, actually. It's definitely more on the full coverage side, definitely matte, but again, having that Bobbi Brown primer under this, my skin looked good this week. I really enjoyed it. Concealer was the e.l.f. 24 hour camel concealer. I have the shade light beige. It's definitely very matte. I felt like my skin was kind of matte or my under eyes were, but overall it has a really good coverage. Corrector, I use this Bobbi Brown in the shade light peach. I don't, it's not my favorite corrector to be honest. So if I repurchase this, I don't think it'd be in that shade. And then I actually use both of these, so that's awesome. <laughs> Cover Girl, Cover Girl, Color Pop, Kush, uh, Super Shock Shadow, really pretty silvery purple color and then my milk makeup lip and cheek uh, in the shade work it's really nice it's pretty natural on the skin it's so nice i enjoyed that for eyeshadow i had the kaleidos futurism 2 this is a cyber bronze it worked pretty well i did use this one and all of these mattes i didn't use these two i just wasn't feeling some reds or silvers this week but it's pretty pigmented. This is really good quality. And then also my new palette was this uh, Viseart Violet Intendu. Worked really beautifully. A lot of purple looks this week. And it was really nice. I 
really enjoy the Vizier Art Formula again. Um, this one did seem more on the drier side, but overall it's a really good palette and I did like it. I think it's really, really nice and pretty. Uh, highlight Bobbi Brown. I used a lot of Bobbi Brown this week. Uh, highlighting powder in pink glow. Very beautiful and really, really pretty on the skin. For blush, I had that Anastasia Blush Kit in Radiant. This is no longer available, but it's really, really nice. I mostly reached for this during fall time, but I really enjoyed it for this time. LYS, this bronzer is really nice. Um, this is in Light, the shade Motivate. It worked really well for me. It wasn't muddy on the skin or anything like that. It was not overly pigmented either. It was really, really nice. I really enjoyed this bronzer. And then I also had this Rimmel. I don't know what it is, but it's in Coral Glow. This was pretty good too. I took, I did do like an overnight trip and I took this with me. I took really basic makeup and this worked really well. It's pretty pigmented. I was actually impressed with this. So I actually really enjoyed that. And then lastly, did I even use this? I don't even think I did. I don't remember. This is the Ofra highlighter in all of the lights. I don't think I did. So I'm going to leave this in another week. Um, there is one, two, three, four different highlighters in one. Again, I'm going to leave it in here. I want to use it because I don't really remember using it. Hmm. I definitely used my Bobbi Brown in the Rimmel one, but I don't really remember using that. Maybe once or twice. Like, if I can't even remember using it, maybe I should leave it in another week. You know what I mean? So, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and shop my stash. Okay, so we're going to go into the new makeup or palette drawer. And I think we're going to do a theme. We haven't done a theme in a while, right? Let's see what I want to use. Dollhouse. I'm actually going to take my Weirdo palette because it's definitely uh, springtime out there and we need to get rid of the dark palettes or else we will not get use out of them. So I'm going to take Jeffree Star Weirdo again. I've had this for a while and this is really dark. So yeah, we're going to take this and I definitely wanted to pair it with Venom, which this was a palette was gifted from a friend. So this is a pretty much all matte and this is mostly shimmer. So I'm going to take these two. I'm going to have dark eyes this week. Um, I wonder if I should also take my Flower Beauty Desert Lights palette. I think we should. We're going to just use new palettes this week, I guess. So we can get some of these new palettes out of here, get some use out of them. And yeah, go from there. So we're going to take the three palettes. I swatched this. And it was super nice. So I'm going to take those and then that way we can start like using some color because we need to get rid of some stuff. And then in here, let me actually pick a theme. Let me get my stuff over here. Sorry, I'm probably bumping ya. Okay, I haven't like, this is just what was left over from the last time I did themes. So I'm definitely running out of ideas. So if you guys want any, I have any ideas, leave them down below. I'm going to go with my favorites from each category. I kind of cheated and was looking through stuff, like picking products from the same color packaging. You know what would be good, too, if I didn't do favorites from each category? I could do this one here that says the fifth product from each category. So we're going to do that. Make it a little more fun than just picking stuff I really enjoy. So we're going to do that, picking the fifth product from each category. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so fifth product, I could either go like one, two, three, or go back. Um, I'm just going to do, like, close my eyes and just kind of go one, two, three, four, five, which, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, let's do, I have a few foundations that are getting older, so I think I want to try them out. This one, one for sure, I'm just going to pick this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Cheating right here. This is a pure four-in-one love your selfie longwear foundation. I have the shade MG2. This has been in my collection for a while. Oh shoot, it expired the beginning of this year. So yeah, I'm gonna take this. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna take the Kimchi Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. Let me know if you've tried this. Definitely says matte on here, so hopefully it works out. And I believe the Pure Foundation is also matte, so <laughs> that is going to be a little crazy. Okay. I'm um, just going to close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I already used this. One, two, three, four, five. I had looked at that way before I said five. Um, let's do... I think I'm going to do a high-end and a um, affordable. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Jouer. 
I have the shade Creme Cafe. And then I made a total mess over here. And then one, two, three, four, five, Cover Girl in the shade Golden Natural. It's kind of hard to pick the fifth one since it's right here, but I actually kind of want to use this one instead. I had it out of my collection. I put it in here yesterday, so I think I'm going to do that instead. I'm cheating again. <laughs> and then Corrector, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, LA Girl. Okay, we're going to do that. How many primers do I got? I got three in here. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like MAC Painterly Paint Paw. And then one, two, three, four, five is my Revolution, which actually I don't think I've used this, have I? No, I haven't. So that's good. And then I'm going to pick one of these. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess it's going to be Gimme Brow by Benefit. Okay, we're going there. In here, one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to do five right here. <laughs> Urban Decay All Night or Ultra Glow. I definitely want something glowy for the primer since I'm using matte foundation and a matte setting spray. So I think that'll work out pretty well. Yeah. Powder. Mm, I think I'm going to go in here because I always use my loose ones. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, which is my blotting powder by MAC, which I actually really like. And this is in the shade medium dark. It's not that dark. But, yeah, I really enjoy a uh, loose though. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. I just used that. I used that. I used this. What if I've used this recently? What if I use either Urban Decay Velvetizer or the Urban Decay All Nighter? It's gonna be so matte though. Hmm. We'll just stick to the matte blotting powder. Bronzer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to go back this way because I feel like I've used a lot of these ones. So one, two, three, four, five. I just used this one. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. I think I've used this recently too. Radiant Matte Bronzer. It looks like that. Okay. And then blush. I'm going to go like over here, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'll just go like one, two, three, four, five, which is this one, the note, Desert Rose. I'm mostly not doing the fifth product, so one, two, three, four, five, which is Catrice uh, blush box in the shade Golden Coral. I'm definitely using corally blushes this week. They're kind of similar. Okay, and I'm going to take one more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is Songbird, I think. Oh my gosh. We're going to take the opposite one because this one's like corally as well. This one is in Wild Honey. More nude. <laughs> okay. And then for highlight. So I still have one in my um, everyday drawer that I kept. So I'm going to do... Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is in Parisian Lights, so something different. It's like a goldy pink color. Okay, and then we'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five. Which is going to be my MAC Whisper of Guilt highlight. Okay, we should look good. One, two, three, four, five. Steal one. Liquid liner. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five. Pop Beauty. We'll take the black. I've been using my uh, Kiko one from in my project pan. So um, I'm also going to take this one. This is five. <laughs> Color Pop Color Stick in the shade Style and Ease. It's a really beautiful, like, denim color. <gasps> I'm just noticing that my camera hasn't been really focusing. Hopefully, it has been. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. This is Outrage. It's a lip liner, but again, I use it in my waterline. They work fine. So we're going to do that. Hopefully, this video has been in for a while. Okay, I'm going to pick one of these. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Nillionaire. Dang it, I don't want this. <laughs> I wanted, like, a, I was actually thinking of, like, a shimmery one that I have. 
but I got this, so great. Oh, that's pretty, actually. Okay, I take it back. Okay, we're going to take that. Get some use out of my singles, too. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I recent. This is Bare Brilliant. I think I recently used that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Starfire by Urban Decay. <laughs> and then... Should we pick a palette? Probably kind of far. One, two, three, four, five. A la mar now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Chloe Malika. Maybe I'll pick something from in here. One, two. Well, those are not blush palettes. I'm gonna have three. Mm. Um, let me take this instead. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's a bronzer and a highlight. This should be good. We'll take this. I'm like so cheating in this category. Sorry. this week so those are all the products in this week's shot my stash which actually should probably pick some lipsticks because i don't have any in here so one two three four five i got money moves from ColourPop, and then um let's pick one two three four five <laughs> i picked fenty beauty in the shade pretty please a pink gloss and then this money moves by ColourPop. this will be pretty Okay, got my lipsticks for the week. Yes. Now, that's everything in this week's Shop My Stash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.